we as a nation, as a world, as a country, as a city have a responsibility to ensure that we pay it for for the next generation. I stand on the shoulders of great men and women who have gone on before me. And if it had not been for Harriet Tubman, there would have not been a Martin Luther King. If it had not been for Martin Luther King, there would have been an Arthur M. Brazier or a Byron T. Brazier. If it had not been for a Byron T. Brazier, there wouldn't have been a Barack Obama. So that long liturgy of men who have worked hard and women who have labored is why I stand here today. And I stand here to applaud them for the great work that they did to make sure that we would have advantage to the tree of life. Make no error. I don't take this appointment lightly. And I don't take this appointment just an another job. I take it as an opportunity to make the world a better place to work for everyone. To provide opportunities through the Hyatt Hotels to be able to help people globally. Women are more than 50% of the population, but yet are still getting paid less than men. Women who have worked hard and that, that are there, that are, that are sitting in that next level waiting to be promoted, but for whatever reason, the unconscious bias or the conscious bias that exists does not afford them to move forward. To those young boys, African American, Latinos, and Asians, and members of the gay community who fought hard to go to school and to gain an education, and we told them, get an education and you can go far, but yet they're not getting those opportunities to get those jobs. I stand in the gap, along with 100 black men, along with leading black women, the Latino community, but certainly the Hyatt Hotel, to make a difference in what we do. So I salute 100 black men for doing this and doing this in, in honor of me. And I thank Hyatt Hotels and its leadership for le believing in me and offering me the opportunity to take us to that next level. I'm not the diversity police and I'm not here to tell you what's going wrong. I'm here to enhance the work that we do to get us to a better place so that we all can thrive and strive together regardless of our backgrounds. Each of us are given 24 hours a day to do what we will. We can do something good or do nothing at all. I charge each of you in this room today, in your next 24 hours, do something for someone else to make this world a better place to work. I don't believe, there was a song written by James Cleveland, said I don't believe that God brought me this far to leave me. I didn't come this far. I came this far with God's grace, and His grace will carry me on. And I salute you all for being here tonight to show the commitment to this city and what great work we can do collectively in this city. I encourage you to make your next reservation at the Hyatt Hotel. <laughs> I encourage you to book your next wedding, your next anniversary, your next bar mitzvah, your next whatever you have, do it at the Hyatt Hotels because we are here to serve you. We have the best men and women working on this side of the planet at our hotels. I thank the hotel manager and the entire staff, especially Roosevelt for doing this. Let's give them a hand. It is those men and women that are in the kitchen, those doormen, those men and women who are making the beds, who are serving the food, that really, really make this hotel what it is and the success that we are. And we thank you. I thank all of my corporate family who came out to support me, our affinity groups. I certainly, last but not least, thank my wife and my daughter and even my niece, Alana, who's been here with us for four years. She came to spend with us summer, but she's been there throughout our four, four, four years of college, and we've been glad to have her with us. <laughs> so have Three women getting ready in one in, 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 in one household, so we don't know that goes. So we're very happy to have her here. All of my friends who are here, all of my colleagues, I thank Rick Riddell, Mark Forlong. Uh, a special thank thanks to those who traveled from Atlanta, from DC, from Detroit, Michigan, from Ohio, from New York, and California. I every from I was surprised when everybody showed up, but uh, Kevin Carrington and Carl Jackson and Sonia, and I, if I, I'm gonna miss somebody's name, but those who, who, who flew in or drove in from different cities to be here tonight, I love you, I thank you for coming. I thank my church family, I thank all my corporate friends for being here. You guys make the difference. Thank you so much, enjoy the evening. Thank you.
James and Mark, could you come up as well? Roosevelt, you can't hide over there.